people ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel today we're going to be looking into a 5m server and this is going to be the quickest and easiest way to set yourself up a cube core or a esx 5m roleplay base so this is a complete foundation it's a base um, it's not a fully pimped out server like we have on the ribsocio.com but if you just want a server base to start with fresh then this is how you do it it's very easy it's very quick and we're going to be using tx admin there's two things you need before we do anything one called xamp so if you haven't got this go to xamp google xamp and it'll look like this and download the windows xamp once you have it installed and it suggests you install it in your c drive so just follow in follow the instructions install instructions and you'll have a folder in your c drive called xamp so then scroll down in xamp and let's load it up so run it as administrator if you don't want it run it as administrator you won't have the little red crosses so if you don't have little red crosses it's because you need to open it with administrator so what you need to do next to mysql and next to apache you need to double click the red crosses to make them a green tick once they're a green tick go ahead and click start to start them resources what XAMP does, XAMP does the communication with your database. So it's a, it's a must needed program. So make sure you have this installed with the actual modules, MySQL and Apache, both installed with the green ticks and they're both started. So once that's done, you can forget about XAMP and the next thing you need to download is something called Heidi. So go ahead and click the installer, download Heidi, same again, follow the install instructions uh, and install Heidi. It doesn't really, really matter where you install Heidi too. But when it's installed, it will look like this. Let me start my fresh. Do, do, do. So let's open up Heidi. And what you need to do in Heidi, click new. So create a new session, call it whatever you want, but make sure you keep the user as root and no password. The port will be as default 3306, then click open. And this is gonna be for your database. You don't have to insert anything here. TX admin's gonna do this for you. So let's minimize it, let's close this. We don't need it right now. And what we're going to do now, we're going to go to our C drive. Let's go to our C drive. I'm going to create a new folder in the C drive. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you call this. Let's call this test uh, tutorial. Test tutorial. Thank you, please. Okay, what we need to do now, we need to go to 5M. Let's go to the 5M website and we need to download something called the server artifacts. It's the actual files needed to run a server. So click create your server, host your own server, and scroll down to the go to the artifacts download the latest recommended that being 4394 as of uh, 2nd of December so they're downloaded minimize this and then we're going to go to downloads copy this across let's copy this across to the file we just made in our C drive called test tutorial which is there paste it in here I, I, I presume you've already got WinZip or WinRAR installed to open up this uh, folder if you haven't, then WinRAR, Google WinRAR, install WinRAR, and you'll be able to now extract this here. So what we want to do is go to extract here. And you'll have all the server artifacts needed. So let's get rid of that folder. We don't need it now. Now what we can do, we can go scroll down and you see the FX server. Let's double click FX server. And this is going to open up a browser where we're going to have to verify the browser to TX admin. So I'm just waiting for that to open up do like this do so as you can see now it's saying link the account so let's link 9824 9824 link account continue i mean my cousin's account but it doesn't matter let's just put a password in here and let's go again doesn't matter what you use anything click save no thanks right so this is where we're going to set up the actual server so let's go to next server name test server and let's go to next again then this is where if you're going to be using this is going to be we're going to be setting up a complete standard default um, foundation server so there is, it's not going to have thousands of resources it's not going to have all your maps and all your cars that's where the website ribsoc.com comes into effect because we if you don't want to do any of this and you just want to use a server starter then go over to our website down below ribsoc.com and you won't have to do any of this but if you just want a foundation you want a base a server base then this is what we're going to do we're going to go to popular templates so depending on whether you want an ESX legacy or a QB core framework, let's just click the QB core. Now I'm not going to edit any of this. I'm just going to leave it as it is. So it's saying it's going to install the, the server to TX data, QB core framework, and let's keep the name the same. And let's go save. It says we're almost there. You can run this profile by executing the C drive start, blah, blah, blah. This will be created afterwards. It's never normally there straight away, but it will, will create. 
let's go to the recipe developer. So now this is selling me all the all the resources it's going to download for me for this foundation, this base, and let's click next. Right now we need our our server license key. Mine doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about that. It's a really old one, and I will will not be using it. So let's keep the database host as host. This is all just stays as it does. Don't change anything here. So local host root no password. That's the database it's going to create for us in Heidi. And let's click run recipe. Now this is going to do it all for us. And like I say, if you actually want a pimped out framework, if you want thousands of resources and maps and clothes and cars, you name it, that's where ribsocia.com. See, I'm using this exactly the same as of today, um, the 2.1 QB core. However, it's nice having the hundreds of resources over on the website to just whatever I need, I can just whack them straight in the pack. That's the beauty of ribsocia.com. Or if you just want a fully made, already made, pre-built server like we're we're working on this actual framework right now, but it's already been developed a lot more than it is on this base, then ribsocia.com. But this is how to get a standard default foundation, how to get a server up and running using either ESX, the latest ESX, or the latest QB core. This won't take too long. And we are obviously using TX Admin. It's got a lot of lot of options in TX Admin, a great admin tool. I haven't really used it in the past. Never really had an issue, uh, a reason for it, but I've been using it a lot recently, and yeah, I've got to give it, got to give it credit. It's a great, great bit of kit. So this is nearly done. I'm d I'm setting this up on my local host. So if I wanted people to be able to join my own PC, my local host, I'd have to port forward my router to 30120. However, this is just for me, so I don't need to do that. So I will be connected on 127.0.0.1. Whereas if you've got a, if you're doing this on a VPS or you're doing it on a dedicated server, you do not need to port forward. Right, this is already nearly done. Okay, so as you can see, C drive, TX data, QB core framework. It's it's um, added all my server in there for me. So let's click next. So this is it. It's all done. There's my server CFG. So if I wanted to change the names, etc., I'll do that in here. However, I'm just going to go click save and run the server. And as you can see, this is my console, the live console, and here it is running, booting up the main live server. Let's just do this is its first ever start, so let's just let let's do its thing. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Loads of options down here. You've got all your settings for your servers, you've got your TX admin logs, you've got your admin manager. If you add any players online, you'd see loads of options for the players. Edit the CFG, server log, resources. I won't be able to use these yet because the server isn't fully loaded. Boom, 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 boom. Massive credits to the QB core guys as well. Great little framework foundation to start with. Um, so are we up? Is it live? Let's have a look. Yep, so there's all your resources, etc. If I wanted to restart a, a, a resource, I could just do that in here. Anyhow, that server's up. That's up already. That's all done. So let's get out of this. So let's go back to our C drive, C drive, TX data, Cubicore framework, and here is our server location. However, it hasn't created it right now, but it will create you in here a start folder and a server starter, how to start the server. If it doesn't for a while, then just go back to your test server um, and reload the FX server. So I can show you that. For example, now, uh, let's just close the server. So if I close this, boom. So once that server closed, the, where are we? The TX admin page will die. So if I go, Connect back to that. See, it now can't be reached. So let's go back in here. Has it created it yet? It hasn't created it yet. So what I can do to start the server, just go back to that test tutorial folder and reload the FX server. And because we already set this up, it'll automatically just run the server for us. And then this page, localhost at colon 40120, will be back live. So let's refresh that. Uh, log in. Log in with Tommy. And we're back live once again. So let's minimize this. Server is already online. So now I can start up my 5M. So that was pretty damn quick. Find my 5M client. 5M. Boom, 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 boom. 5M. Let's boot this up. It's loading. And like I say, because I'm stuck, I'm setting it up on my PC, my actual, just as a test, I would connect to local host. Do, 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 do. 
PMA voice. That's this one sync PMA voice. That's um, that's because you need the latest, the latest artifacts. We use the, the recommended. Right. So let's go to F8 and go to connect. 127.0.0.1 as you can see we're all already connected to the server the server is up the server is live there we go but like i say this is a foundation this is a base if you want to pumped up pimped out already made pre-built servers then ribsoc.com or if you want access to a discord with with support with 4000 members ribsocia.com if you want hundreds of resources and etc ribsocia.com but this is a, just a, a base right create a new character create let's just fly through this rib so uk 20 01 1985 let's go confirm integrity thank you it's going to be my character let's just confirm that that's it we're in the server is live open stash oh good and that was quick how quick is that just over 10 minutes so within 10 minutes you can set up a server base and like i say this is the actual framework i'm working on right now however mine's a, a bit more a lot well it's going to be a lot more developed than the what these bases are, but stay tuned with that on ribsocia.com. That's apartment. I hope that helps. Like and subscribe for more. If you have any questions, feel free to ask down below. And yeah, hope it helps. I'll see you in the next one. But like I say, if you want, can't start your server, if it hasn't created your start folder and your server starter, just go back to the previous folder that we made, test tutorial, and load up the FX server. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Hit the like, subscribe, and comment down below if you need any help. Peace out.